So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound. And here is a quick update that the Hacktober Fest registration forms are live. So how you have to register and how you can start the next step. So in this video, we'll cover this. First of all, if you're new to this channel, do like the video and just subscribe the channel. So here, before the we start, you need to create a GitHub account or GitLab account. I'll recommend GitHub account because it is very easy and I'm using it. So I will help you to create an account. First of all, open github.com, click on the sign up option. And here basically you have, you can continue with the Google directly or just enter your email, password, username, country and just create an account. Okay. Then you'll be just asked to solve one puzzle and simply just verify using your email in which you have just registered and then your account will be ready. Now, if you have already a GitHub account, just sign in over here and just enter the username and password or just continue with the Google. Chances are there if two-factor authentication is enabled, you'll be getting an email over there. Okay, so you need to just check it. Now here, come to the Hacktoberfest homepage. You can see here, register for the Hacktoberfest. You have to simply click on register for the Hacktoberfest and you'll be redirected to another page. Okay, so here, you can see authorization in progress. Now here, basically you have to just authenticate with the GitHub account. If you are using GitLab, you can authenticate using the GitLab also. Or if you are using the GitHub, you can initiate using the GitHub. So here we are using the GitHub. So we will be using that only. Now here, basically you have to authorize your GitHub account. Okay. Simply here, you have to just authorize your GitHub account with the hacked over face. So just authorize over here. And here it is just processing all the process. And once it is done, it will show your username and the details. So just wait for some time. Now here you can see registration is being loaded. Now here all the details. So here you have to select whether you are a newbie, familiar or experienced. So depending on your experience level, you can just select it. So I am selecting newbie for it, but I am already experienced person. Now here, how you'd like to contribute in the program. So code and no code. The code means you are just changing the code base or just improving some functionalities. For basic example, like you are enhancing a website, adding a features or many things. It can be website, it can be an app, it can be any personal project, etc. So you can select code. And no code means like documentation, like adding a GitHub repo and just improving the readme style, just improving the code structure, etc. So basically here, it means like design, implementation and documentation. So you can just select both of them. Now here you have to select whether you are a student or whether you are a working professional. So just select whatever you are, you can select yes or no. Now here, what is your primary role? Whether you are a designer, mobile developer, you can select anyone. There is no issue. Even if you select this, you can contribute. The main thing is that you have to select this one. Code and no code. This is very important. And rest all are normal. So now here, which country you are participating from. So just select India like this. Or if you are from another country, you have to select it like this. Now all these things are done. If you want to just enable all these email promotion, you can enable it. There is no issue. So you can just enable it. Okay. If make sure to enable the digital ocean web because they will be they will be sharing a progress report like how many repositories have been merged, how many repository will be merged, how many repository you needed to be getting merged. So like this you'll be getting. Now here are some rules and condition. You can read it and just click on I agree and upload all the rules over here simply and then just simply click on register. Now once you'll click on register. Here be registered and your profile will be ready for execution. So just wait for it to get completed. You can see here our profile is ready. Here it will be your profile picture. If you are having a different profile picture, it will be shown over here. Now here they are showing that progress. So now here you have to complete four pull requests. How to create a pull request, how to submit a pull request. I'll make a detailed video on it. Do not worry. Also, I'll be creating a sample repository which will be helping you to just learn about it. So stay tuned for it. One more important thing is that if you face any issue, you can let me know in the comment section. 
Now the event is officially starting from 1st of October. Till then you can just explore the website and just read about the documentations also and they have a discord server also. If you have any queries you can reach out to them also directly. Now here do not start doing any pull request. Wait for 1st October then you only start to do it. Now here all these things are covered. If you are new to this channel do subscribe the channel and like the video. And regarding other programs, you can see over here, all the programs, videos are here. If you are participating in the arcade program, you can watch this video. If you want to visit and have a quick tour of Google Office, you can watch this video. And if you want a certification voucher to your cost, you can watch this video. So that's all about this video. Do like the video and subscribe the channel, guys. Here is the basically in-depth detail video also regarding the Haptober Fest event. So I hope it clears your doubt. Thank you. Have a great day.